One of the most frequently asked questions in life is if an afterlife really does exist or is it just a myth? In this video, I will explain to you exactly what happens after life according to the Bible. Almost every religion in the world has a say when it comes to this topic, a say that is contrary to what other religions may say. Buddhists will say something that is different to what Muslims would say and a Muslim is going to say something that is different to what Christians may say. So you may be sitting at home and you are thinking, what should I believe? Should I believe the Muslims? Should I believe the Christians? Or should I believe the Buddhists? The Bible is the only book that you must believe when it comes to this subject. And the reason is quite simple because of the man Jesus. Jesus is the only one that died and came back to life. We have scientific evidence, we have historical evidence, and we have biblical evidence that Jesus Christ died, came back to life, and is alive today. My question to you is this, would you rather believe someone who died and did not come back to life, or would you rather believe someone who died and came back to life who would you rather tell you or explain to you about the afterlife? Jesus. The very first Christian to be stoned to death was a man by the name Stephen. And he said, Jesus, receive my spirit. Because he knew that he was going to be with Jesus who is already in heaven. He was going to be received by Jesus who already is in heaven. The Bible also shows us clearly that when a Christian is absent from the body, they are present with the Lord. So in conclusion, when a Christian passes out of this world, they go straight to heaven to be with Jesus. So you may be asking, why does the Bible say that at the day of the rapture, the dead in Christ shall rise first? The reason is quite simple, because when a Christian, remember, the body is dead, not the man. The body is dead. So the Bible shows us that when a Christian gets to heaven, because they are naked, they don't have a body, what God does is he clothes them with a spiritual garment. So what the Bible says, the dead in Christ shall rise first, is referring to the body. So the body is glorified and the body goes up to meet up with the man. And so at that moment, he no longer needs that spiritual garment that the Bible speaks about in the book of Revelations. So when a Christian passes out of this body, they go to be with Jesus in heaven immediately. So they don't go to a waiting place. They don't um, go anywhere else. They go to be with Jesus immediately in heaven, according to the Bible. Now, on the other hand, when non-believers die, they go straight to hell, according to the Bible. Remember the story of the rich man and Lazarus. One of the most beautiful thing about this story is the fact that it was not a parable. A lot of people think it was a parable, but this was an actual story that happened. Lazarus really did exist and the rich man really did exist. How do I know this? Because the Bible um, says it very clearly. Jesus said there was a certain rich man. There was a certain rich man. In other words, um, the rich man was actually a person that really did exist at a certain point and time Right, so when the rich man died the Bible shows us that he went straight to hell Right, so that's exactly what happens to non-believers. They go straight to hell Jesus said unless a man is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. So um, to get to heaven first of all man has to become born again and I will explain what it means to be born again in my future video so watch out for that. Now, non-believers are sent to hell as a temporary place. So hell is a temporary place, right? Because the Bible shows us that after hell, they would face the judgment and later on they will be thrown into the lake of fire. Yes, the lake of fire and hell are not the same, right? At the moment, they may be in hell, but in the future, they will be thrown into the lake of fire. Right now, as I speak, there are people in hell and hell is a terrible place but the lake of fire is even worse how do i know this because the bible shows us or the bible tells us that hell will be thrown into the lake of fire right so it's the same thing same thing applies to christians right um the christians will go to heaven tem as temporary also 
because the Bible shows us that um, we will come back on earth to reign with Jesus for a thousand years. Yes, that's what the Bible says. So we will come back on earth. So as a Christian, it's so important that you preach the gospel. Preach the gospel all around the world. It's the most important thing to do because as a Christian, you are a savior just like Jesus. Thank you so much. My name is Young Preacher and God bless you. Thank you.